And so here we go, the nightcap tonight. Are you with us, Ohio? Are you ready for this one? Fourth meeting between teams separated about about 100 miles on Interstate 71. Underway. Bulls drive progress. Fun supporting MLS Youth Academies nationwide. Mane getting it wide. Saad Abdul Salam joining up. And it's through traffic. Ends up being a shot there. By Mane, comfortable first save of the night for Eloy Room. Garza carrying forward for Kubo. In the middle now for Sim De Jong making his debut for Cincinnati. Kekuta Mane. Mane looking to cut it back on Jimenez got a shot at the near angle that Room was able to make the stop on. He knows what he wants to do, and he's set, setting up Jimenez there and just drags him back to the right foot. He always wants the right. He hits it low. He hits it hard. It's right at Room, but it's a good save. Yeah, the Porter shot and used the midfielders there from the bench over the top. Luis Diaz, great first touch to get around Pedersen and now fires it all the way through. Big bodies are forward for Columbus here as well to try to cause some chaos in front of Teton. your heart out Alexi look at this in off the post the sharp angle he takes here disguises it means Teton can't guess and cheat and that is a thing of beauty perfection around the wall it is dipping kiss off the post a chef's kiss then it is one nil to the crew maybe skipping away from Madunian in and they called the fixer in Portland, handing it off, roll through, Jossie Zardes, Jossie Zardes, 2-0 Columbus. Boy, they just sliced Cincinnati up there. And goals three minutes apart, crew in total control. How easy this is, defensive shape right now, Abdul Salam is completely out of position. You see him there, the right back, then Kendall Waston, he can't close down the gap. Jossie Zardes does a great job here, really clever run. Look at him backing up, creating space to open it up for that pass to his feet. First touch, out of your feet. Second, in the back of the net. This is excellent from Jossie Zardes. Just the composure in front of goal, seeing the development in his game, in this part of his game, finishing. Titon could do nothing about it there. Crew 2-0, FC Cincinnati, what type of response? Loss of their barking and his teammates trying to keep the energy and the focus up as the corners played short. Here's Darlington Nagby. It's an awful try his left. That's going to go well wide. Minnesota had a phenomenal third year. They followed the boot blueprint of Portland that had a phenomenal third year. Is Luis Diaz. Going wide across the face of his Diaz. Here they come. Awful flying forward off his one side. Artur to the inside of him. Zardis now furthest forward. And just barely missed. Boy, Diaz has no problem taking shots from any angle. One is a little bit closer. He's got the run outside from Awful. It means Garza can't close him down. And Cincinnati are backing off. He says, okay, I'll have a shot from here. That one was closer than it initially looked. He could get a great view here from behind the goal. Good chance for Cincinnati at the end of the half to change this story. Reggaeton is Mane running off his right. Reggaeton cutting it back on Jonathan Benza. Reggaeton comfortable. Well, was a comfortable stop, and then Room had to clean it up. His third save of the half. Second half underway. Fourth ever meeting between these teams separated by about 100 miles down the highway. We get some information from Columbus in the next day or two as to his condition. That was really concerning the way he came off. Set of Rayon crossing in. Jossie Zardes has the third for Columbus. His second. Look at this ball. I mean, there's no pressure on the ball at whatsoever. So much time and space. Pick your head up. Jossie Zardes running across, across off the shoulder of Kendall Waston. Was he offside? That'll be interesting to see because it looks like he's really close here. But what a pick out. I mean, my goodness. Teton can't come for it because of the pace of the ball alone. Dropping it on the left toe of Jossie Zardes just to put that one home. Does the right thing here. It comes off the heel, in the back of the net. Doesn't try to overhit it. 
Not too much power, just place it home. Here's where we're going to get a look at it. Is he offside or on? Maybe we won't. That's tough. It can, looks like can he you might definitively be. say it's a clear and obvious error to the on-field call? I think that's what they're trying to find out here. The finish and the ball are excellent. Here's our tour the other way. So let's try to add more. Jossie's has got a chance for his hat trick. A lot of traffic in there. And a handoff to the near side. Luis Diaz, he'll let fly. And Teton just sort of squeezing that between the knees there to make the stop. One of those yet in this MLS is back tournament. Jossie's as he looks hungry for more. He is active. Even just seeing there the way he lays it off to Diaz. Off Thorne playing for the LA Galaxy. Could he move somewhere else? to a new team and still have that kind of success. Gutman now getting the cross of the deck. That was a great chance for De Jong, and he just couldn't steer it on target. Mukhtar back out. Arthur thinking about it. He'll let fly to Taunt. Got his body behind it. Gutman gets it partially clear. And then you come out, and you have this new momentum going. You have a new coach, and then all of a sudden... Sailor Ion thought about it, cutting it back into Maya. Jimenez... In for Mokhtar, Yunus Mokhtar, there's the fourth. Getting better and better for Columbus, getting worse and worse for Cincinnati. Yunus Mokhtar, 4-0 for the crew. Cincinnati, they've mailed it in. They just absolutely stopped playing now. And the Columbus crew, it is so easy, 60 minutes in. Look at this, no pressure on the ball whatsoever. Two or three passes. This is about the fourth shot in the last five minutes that the crew have had. Mukhtar just bends this one away from Teton. Absolutely no chance. No pressure on the ball once again. 4-0. This one could be five, maybe even six tonight. Well, Ismail Elfaf mercifully with the final whistle. Biggest win in four and a half years for the Columbus crew. And they do it against their cross-state rivals, Caleb Porter's side, opening up the MLS's back tournament.